There is a renewed push to ban all flavored tobacco products in Denver. The hope, of course, to protect teenagers against the potentially addicting products. A Denver City Council committee met this morning to discuss that ban. The ban would include vape juice, which industry critics say is specifically aimed at getting the teenagers hooked. Michaela White with more on this tonight. There are some really passionate people on both sides of this issue. I talked with a health care advocate who wants a ban and also with a business owner here who says the ban would be detrimental for his business. The Surgeon General has declared an epidemic of youth vaping. People packed the Denver City Council meeting Wednesday to debate a new initiative that would ban flavored tobacco and vape juices. It's focused on youth vaping in particular. They start with a vanilla flavored, but then, and maybe they don't like it, but then somebody's like, oh, I've got a mango flavor. And, oh, I've got creme brulee. Ellen Penrod is the director of the American Lung Association in Colorado, and she supports the ban. She says the harmful impacts speak for themselves. It's not just water vapor. It is chemicals. You are breathing in chemicals into your body. And we don't know what's in a lot of these vapes. Philip Guerin has owned this smoke shop on Colfax for 30 years, and he disagrees with the ban. Nobody advocates that or, or, or children smoking. Nobody is advocating for that. He says he has strict guidelines in place, and you have to be of age to buy that flavored tobacco. I think that that happens with good parenting with the schools enforcing the restrictions that are already in place. If with stricter enforcement on a retail level, I think this problem would go away. He says he's seen people actually use the vapes to stop smoking cigarettes, and the ban would hurt his business. Especially when it is so hard to retain good health since the pandemic. But that being said, this would have a, a tremendous negative impact on our company and um, what we're really trying to do here. And the next discussion will happen on October 27th. We'll keep you updated on air and online at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Michaela White covering Colorado First.